What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom and in this video we are going to take a deep comparison between the newly launched Snapdragon 860 with the Snapdragon 888. Now the 860 was launched alongside the Poco X3 Pro and this phone has an 860. So without wasting any further time, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. So now that you have done that, let's get started. Now starting off with the launch date, the Snapdragon 888 was launched in December 2020 whereas the 860 is much later launched in March 2021. Now talking about the CPU architecture, the 888 has an octa-core cryo 680 whereas the Snapdragon 860 has an octa-core Adreno 680 processor architecture onto that. Now if we talk about the cores, it has a Triple Eight has a one core of 284 GHz a Cortex X1, three cores of Cortex A78, and the four cores for the Cortex A55. Now these cores are 2.4 and 1.8 GHz respectively too. Now if we talk about the 860, the 860 has a one core of 2.96 GHz Cortex A76, three cores of 2.42 GHz Cortex A76, and four cores of 1.8 GHz Cortex A55. Now if we talk about the fabrication process processor, the size of the processor which is the 888 is a industry leading 5 nanometer, whereas the 860 is a 7 nanometer processor. On the GPU font for the gaming and the hardly intensive purposes, the 888 has an Adreno 660 whereas the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 has a Qual Adreno 640 which is again on the lower side. Now next we talk about the machine learning and the AI which the how the smartphone interacts. The 888 has hexagon 780 whereas the 860 has a hexagon 690. On the ISP side, we have a Spectra 580 on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 and the Spectra 380 on the Snapdragon 860. Now talking about the maximum RAM support for these processors are the 16GB for with the 32 megahertz frequency with LPDDR5 RAM can be supported with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 whereas the 860 can support a 16 gigabytes up to 2133 megahertz of LPDDR4X RAM. On the display support, the 888 again has a lead over here with a 4K at 60 hertz, QHD plus at 144 hertz, HDR10 plus HDR10, Dolby Vision and HLG are present. Whereas the 860 has a 4K at 60 FPS and it doesn't have a Dolby Vision or the HLG. Now talking about some of the people's favorite feature which are, is the camera support. Now the Snapdragon 888 supports up to 200 megapixel of single camera with 64 megapixel dual cameras and a 28 megapixel triple camera setup. Whereas in 860, it has a 192 megapixel main camera and 48 megapixels of dual camera. On video compatibility, highest refresh rate or the highest video quality which you can get with 888 is the 8K at 30 FPS, 4K at 120 FPS, and 720 pixels at 960 frames per second. For On Snapdragon 860, we have a 720p at 480p. Now, talking about the Bluetooth. It, uh, 888 has a Bluetooth 5.0 whereas the 860 has an olden version which is the Bluetooth 5.0. On the 5G modem side, the 888 comes with the latest flagship Snapdragon X60 5G modem whereas the 860 doesn't have a 5G modem. On the Wi-Fi, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 has a Wi-Fi 6E whereas the uh, 860 has a Wi-Fi 6 which is again a generation older. On the quick charging, we have a uh, quick charge 5 on the Snapdragon 888 and with a quick charge 4 plus with the Snapdragon 860. Now on the ending up with the N22 scores, we have uh, 7,30,000 for the Snapdragon 888 which is the best of the Qualcomm processor whereas the 4,58,000 for the 860. On the Geekbench score, Again, the Snapdragon 888 has a single core of 1127, whereas the multi-core for 3700. 
on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860, we have a multi-core of 2800 and single core of 782. Well guys, that's been it. That's been my time about the comparison between the two of the greatest Snapdragon processor. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel Tech Phantom so you never miss an update from us. Thanks for watching.